Hello, let me tweet out the stream really quick. Playing Danganronpa V3. Again, as always, I'd like to say that I've played this game before. I just wanted to replay it because it's fun. And, well, not this trial. This trial isn't fun because it's the worst trial in the series. Oh, this is low battery shit. Uh, well, when it dies, I'll just take out the Joy-Cons. Oh, did I not buy it? Did I have, have I not bought that? No, I did, there we go. I should probably turn off all my alarms. Okay, begin. All right, buckle in for the worst trial with the worst fucking nerd. <laughs> fucking, no. I Let's hate this guy. With the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to... Now, smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be much help this time. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Got him. Who did it? 
who killed Angie and Tenko. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. Shut up. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Shuichi, you do it! Is it even possible for a revive coach to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should... Should I? Like, I don't think it's an argument we should even entertain. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. I believe it's this one. to life and killed two of our classmates. No! no! So, ritual did work? Who was resurrected? Okay, it's that one. Angie did say she was gonna bring Rantaro back. Yes. Rantaro was resurrected. The culprit is the late Rantaro Amami! Please, stop it! This crime was committed by the re- They came back to l- So- Shit, my bad. Who was this? Oh, oh, so, Rich, Okay, whatever. I wanted to get the V spot really badly, but whatever. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us. You have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. Yeah, burn it. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. Well, it doesn't matter because it didn't happen. I never lie about Motives. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. What I would have happened if we did bring back someone? You have let me use it to bring Mono them back to life. Mono Dumb is still alive, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Mono Dumb's corpse. Oh? So resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? What would have you have done to do if that happens, There's Smoothie? no way it's possible! There's no way that could happen, idiots. 
Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls... Yeah, shut up. Who did it? Step aside, half pint. I'll handle this. I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. Yep. Yeah. And that's it. Trial's over. Good job, Mia. You solved the mystery. <laughs> don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. And then the trial ended, and we didn't have to go through this whole bullshit. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. Got him. You went to the classroom, broke in. No, only Kokichi could have broken, right? Oh yeah! I'm a fucking genius! The culprit. I'm guessing that's what they want us to do, but we should just end the trial right here. <laughs> Then we wouldn't have to go through the stupid seesaw bullshit. I went to the classroom broken. Mm. Damn it! The culprit used a katana. To kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which makes you, Keo, It could be any of them. I did not care about Just admit it, you shit eating worm. You went to the classroom. Broken. Murdered the fuck The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. Yeah, the research lab. Which makes you kill. But anyone could have taken the katana, you see. So the rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, too. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit eating worm. You went to the classroom. <laughs> okay, it's that one. <laughs> It really could have been any of it. It could have been Kokiji's locker, no, it could have been the front door. No, able to enter Angie's lab. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student counseling. And Kyo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. Uh -huh. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? Uh, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Uh, she was doing a bit. It's for content. Oh, how clever. You can just ignore her, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Oh, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? Yeah, of course. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Sumugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of Wait, those really? two people? Because a robot ain't people, Jack. I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? Perhaps the culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well... No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. 
you shouldn't suspect. Hey, stick up for me too. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. Gonta I'm not, not, the the culprit. not the culprit. Plainly get it. Alright, anyway. We must consider other possibilities. Surely there must be suspects outside the student council. That's utterly impossible. A dead chick can't be the culprit. Why? Only one council member had access. Oh, I get it. Okay. I didn't know. Only student councilman. I heard it. That didn't hit the V spot. What the hell? No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Hmm. Um, what wait. You said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi. Okay, the, it is muted. Okay, good. Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? Wait, hold on. I want to test for something. I'm opening the Twitch on my phone. I was referring to Keo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Okay. I was referring to Keo. He couldn't have done it because you have. Because I saw you open the lock. Okay. Totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course, yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. Hmm. Wait, what? What did you just say? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham! Killed Angie. The culprit was me. All along. What He's just doing what? a little trolling. What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so. He's doing much a little better. trolling. Whew. He does even oh, more trolling than so Nagi Town. She really is culprit? No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's lying. I'm certain of it. No, no. Definitely not a no, lie. No. I killed. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? Well, it's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. No, that doesn't make sense. The door... Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe. But that's not how the culprit locked the room. They used a different method. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and Mumbles. explain yourself. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was. That's it. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. They went in through Angie's back door. The back door had a sliding lock, yes. How was it locked from the outside? The culprit is that. Is that. Are they, I, is Mew gonna make that joke?
That sounds like a Mew, a joke Mew would make. I should be a writer for the funny Danganronpa. I should be a writer. Hire me, Team Danganronpa. Is this, which one is the katana? No, that's a hammer. This is it. You basically get no penalty for destroying them one by one, so... The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. Kaede! The used that to hit the knob with a sliding lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm, that evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. They put it on someone's hand. Talking about a different school? What school was it? It starts no, with an no, A. That doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. It was an odd hey, hey, hey. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigy's hung... Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? Okay, a good mini game. Well, a decent mini game. Time to pick up some hoes, get some bitches. No bitches. How did I miss that one? I ran right in it. I couldn't see that.
Thinking time. Music is really good though. It's a bit goofy, but that's what's funny about it. had to think about that. It had to do its own thinking time. That was terrible. That's it. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy. Was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Effigy spun? That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Then, 
If you let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way. And of course, the katana would spin with it. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. Yes, that's how Angie's lab was locked. By using the effigy with the katana. A plan born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. Oh, but could it have moved the slide lock so easily? The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. As long as the spinning katana hit the lock, it would have slid into position. Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detecting. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? I didn't say that. I only implied it. The culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find the blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other but didn't we establish during the investigation that the murder weapon wasn't the katana? That way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. But... Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. But I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... Seriously? You fucking lied again? Cough it up, Kokichi! Man, you guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. You're telling the truth this time, right? I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. If I claim to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get and if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted into my plan. You and your fucking lies. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Okay, I'll start right now. Kogichi, no! TOS! Alright, so who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? Mew, I can't hold it up anymore. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Who made the locker room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Anyway, comma. Don't you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Cum dumpster! <gasps> finally! Someone finally called me a cum dumpster! All right, Mio. What should we talk about now? Anyway, Kama. We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie, she's still a suspect. That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. It's fine. That's that was a lie, ha <laughs> ha. Me? A suspect? I never kill Angie. 
So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect, too. Silence, outsider. Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. Okay. S suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down. Anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers. What should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. Why did Tenko have to die? Anyway, let's talk about Tenko. For the rest of the trial, and then circle back to Angie. Huh? Way later. Let's just forget about Angie's murder entirely and talk about Tenko for the rest of the Angie trial. Too, but can we talk about Tenko's case now and not just Angie's? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. What do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. We gotta figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless! Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! Poor Tenko! How could you do this to her? Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. I mean... She's not wrong. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? Kokichi, enough! Nah, it's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tanko before. That's why I'm so upset. I should have faced Tanko. Worked things out with her while she was still alive. But now, it's too late. I can't complain to her. Thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. Yeah. Our only option is to face her death head on. Yeah. Face her death? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. So I'm gonna help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. Put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death meaningless. The name of the curse is Death Curse. Damn. I am um, supposed being dead would silence someone pretty good. Listen up. All you guys are gonna help out too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run. I won't forgive something so messed up. Tenko was our friend. Gonta want to know why she died too. I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. 
Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Finally, you noticed. Jeez. Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but... I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But that was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? So, what are we talking about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Tancrotch probably got killed during the seance, so everyone there's suspicious. Tancrotch! Was Cork... It was me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits! Oh, Himiko's still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really... Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. And that's it. The trial is over. True. We did it. I have suggested it, but I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose, but... In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control either. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. Oh, right. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. You just try to confuse the trial even more. There. By allowing more suspects about under the floor. Huh? Under the floor. Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. Do the other rooms have if holes in them from the roof to the... There is another suspect. Another suspect? <laughs> oh, I can... The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. No, Kibo is too light. Now, we would have seen it from within the floor. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Hold on a second. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. I crawled under the floor. Because it wasn't dark in the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kiba's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. 
Peebo could have used that. Don't you get under the pool. That's not what I'm saying. Damn it. I'm saying we would have seen it through the gaps in the, the floorboards. By crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even... Sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. Because it wasn't. You see, our villain had a light. Light? What? I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Do you have the three, I was wrong. chapter 3 guide? I have no idea the what I'm supposed to do. The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain. Got it. That's wrong. All right. That's what I would have done next anyway. I don't think the culprit could have used a light while under the floor. I just had to present it the right way. There was a hole in the corner of the room. If a light were used, it would have leaked through, and we would have. When we did the seance. So a light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am the cult. Jeez, here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now, simply because I am a robot. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. All right, all right, you made your point. God, now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. Enough with the flashlight! It's way too bright! He was fucking mad. It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why was Floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Going to think that was so Culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh-huh. Thank you. Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Maybe they marked Tinko with glowing paint and reference. Forget. That'd let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. But I'm 
just gonna ignore it. The corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint, though. Oh, yeah. So then, why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally note it. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the cult! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What other issue? He's changing the topic First, constantly. We should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. When? So not during seance? Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. I think Karekio is just trying to like waste our time. Yes. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... The floorboard was removed at that point, so it's likely she was already dead then. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it impossible to kill her then. Then she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. A different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads. Huh? Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Now hurry up! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your limp dick brains! When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. Wouldn't it benefit you dead. to say it she wasn't was during the chaos? What about moment? Wouldn't cage that benefit was lifted? you? Like that. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tango real fast. So fast, no one saw. So who lifted the cage? Uh, it was me. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. There's no did it down. When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been. No, because there's blood on the time. sheet. She was under the cage the whole time. What about moment cage was lifted? That's wrong! No, it wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. If Tenko was stabbed then, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so... so right? The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the seance 
I got to remodel right here. All right, bitch. No, it's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out. Tenko died after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tango through the cage! They stuck the thin blade through the gap, and that clean white sheet got stained blood red! But the weapon was a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. She wasn't that far from the cage's gaps. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the culprit. And that's none other than Keo. Yeah, you're right. The blade's all you need. No, she's right. Stick the blade through a gap in the cage. It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. She wasn't that far from the cage's gaps. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the culprit. Oh no! Tenko died after the seance. It happened when the sheet. I'm not lifted. sure which one it is. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tenko through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage, and that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was a sicker. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage. It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. Oh no! Tenko died after the seance. when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tango through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage. And that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was a sicker. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. <laughs> if you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck exposed. Oh no! Tenko died after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the. Culprit chose to stop. <laughs> oh no! We can't let it. died after the seance it happened when the sheet was lifted that was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of 
tangled through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gap, and that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was the cigar. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. And what me? If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck. I'll cut through your words. I don't know how it, that one proves it. Like, maybe the sickle would have. Wait just a minute. She was bent over with her forehead against the marker, and the cage itself was a. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Oh, I guess. I messed up again? How could this happen? I am so embarrassed. No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. Got him. Yeah, no worry. <laughs> if Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible. Yeah, for a living person. Huh? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? What are you talking about? The, the... We don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a... Don't say stupid stuff like that! Stop that now. Angie's spirit? Kimiko? Why would Angie's spirit... What if Tenko killed Angie? And then Angie's spirit came back for revenge. Like I said, that's impossible. Spirits can't be culprit. Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well, see, you can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done that. Wait, I know. What if the culprit was hiding inside the cave? If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. No. If there was someone else in the cage, we would have noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at. They Kokichi, he's so small that he can fit in. He's such a little rat boy that he can fit in. Tenko herself. I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. What did you say? Are you saying Tenko is the culprit? She committed suicide. S suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered to be in the cage, and then stabbed herself during the sale. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor. If Tenko had stabbed herself... Uh... Oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. <laughs> After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense. Well, it does 
doesn't make sense to me. There's no reason for Tanko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah? Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? Tenko's pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. But she knew we would have to solve the mystery, right? But if she was gonna kill herself, yeah, why, why not just come out as the killer during the uh, she to hide class the trial? Of the why? Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in a killing game, right? So she can kill all of us. It's to take us down with her. But why? Take us down. She because that also get the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She... Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her, but still. But what are you told? What if all of that was just a lie? A lie? Wait, we should believe Tenko's last words. The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything. But how can you be so sure? Did you... People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded... Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. I gotta go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Well, duh. I'm it's gonna get to a part to where they're playing sure music first. Thinking. That's why it all okay, comes there we down go. to whether or not you believe in yourself. Right, I'm gonna go use the bathroom now.
So I totally did not forget to link the stream when I tweeted it out. Whoops. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Come to training, bitch! Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Kinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. That's what I want to believe. Me too. Gota, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. Oh, I'm also going to install something. A proper reason. Because I have a plan for a bonus stream today. It's another class thing for class. That we'll do after this trial finishes, probably. If it installs by then. Didn't I buy a... Uh, hold on a second. Why isn't that in my library? Didn't I buy it? Okay, there we go. Okay, it's installing it. A proper reason. All right, I'll give you a... Is there a reason? Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. I don't believe Tinker would kill herself because of what she said. She said he'd see you guys after. You have to believe in Tenko. I'll make them all believe by lying. Far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinker, not that kind of person! 
But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the sands. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength. Shit. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. <laughs> I'll reveal the truth. Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor because she died instantly. Instantly? The death might have not been instant, but it couldn't have gone far before she's blood out. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Tenko died instantly. Let's go, Maki! Fucking base! As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. Thank you, Maki. How did you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway, Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tanko wouldn't commit suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tanko during the seance. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Are we gonna finally talk about the bump? We should remember. I'm sure there's something. Sound during Did seance. anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. The fact that the seance failed. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. Really strange. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. Is that it? I'm more concerned about how dark it got in there. I mean, it was totally pitch black. My job was to relight the candles. Moving along the walls was seriously tough. Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, Something. Shit. Moving along the walls was seriously tough. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Just gonna go with that one. No, no, V spot. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? It sounds. 
I can't believe we were dumb enough to go along with Keo's plan. And actually do the stupid ass sound. There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Am I wrong? I thought something fell, but... The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. A loud sound, like something hit the floorboard. Maybe that sound had to do with the other thing that appeared in the dark. I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That is true, there would have to be a strong impact to make that sound. But where was it? Where could it possible be? Alright then, let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together. Cool. Now, I love this game's like UI design for like it's so much better than so the other the games for some loose. reason. Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Yeah, that's it. I don't know how to agree with that. That comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. It's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that, Mew. D don't be stupid. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? So what made the floorboard come Can loose? I agree with that one? That wasn't a V. Kokichi is right. I'm so the bad at ding and rompa. Someone stomped on it. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure. First time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I. One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? What did they stand to gain? That's the question of the hour. To solve this case, I need to think carefully about the cross piece and the floorboard. Tenko's body it was at one on the loose floorboard and the cross piece had been cut on the other end. The unsupported part was outside the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces were cut. The other two was intact. One of them was right under Tenko, and the other was in the center. What the culprit attempting to achieve by stopping on the floorboard? Battery depleted. 
Give me one second, Suichi. It's time for the funny. The funny. The funny meme. S. E. Wait, I fucking don't know how to spell Seesaw. I can spell, I'm, I swear. <laughs> as a seesaw. The funny. The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cave. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece, The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. A the lever funny. capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Her whole body lifted up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? They couldn't have killed Tenko like that. Unless they used the sick. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick. It was possible the to seesaw trick. Sickle. Huh? How? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the, the funny sickle is the most important factor. Where's the sickle? That's it. The sickle was at the top of the iron cage, with the blade facing down. The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble, but the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. Bonk! She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in her crouched position, but with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Bringing the victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That impact makes floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Yep. A classic type of murder. The funny. What, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy! The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, culprit! You did a great job keeping me entertained. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Yeah? Why? What are you talking about? It was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. What? Why her? 
because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. The only one? What? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? Oh yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even have... Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance, and suggest she led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Then, she killed Tenko. Oh. That's a lie, right? In the end, but Himiko volunteered to go Tenko in the cage in before Tenko. Wait, we don't know that. He's wrong, right, Himiko? Still, Tenko, I killed Himiko. What's wrong, Himiko? Himiko was the one who suggested they go under the fucking seat under the seesaw plot in the cage at first though before Tenko took the opportunity to volunteer. Well, Looks like we've reached the intermission segment which means it's time for our guess the victim quiz. Ah! A victim quiz not a culprit quiz? The only victims are the one who's still watching this drawn out boring crap. True! The trail sucks! Why are you being such a downer all of a sudden? I'm sure everyone is happy. How do you know? They could be skipping this entire conversation for all you know. I can't take it anymore. I'm the real victim. Me! If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put up with this nonsense all the time. Absolutely right! That's the right answer, Monogram! Why? He hasn't said anything. Exactly, because there are no victims. Yep, even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner. Because then everyone mourns you and you get a lot of posthumous popularity. <laughs> oh, you don't need to reveal these kinds of violence right. details. Dying makes you more popular, but we gotta die soon too. I can fulfill that wish. Damn, they're fucking bullying him. Scary? Sweet buns. Yep. Tasty. So round. So sweet. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Uh, did you hear something? No. I didn't. They're fucking bullying him. What the hell? Monodam doesn't Answer deserve us, that. Nico. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko. Yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Wait. Can you say that word? Mistake. No way, Himiko is. 
then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. I... I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie wee, died. Wee, 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 wee. Tango died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. Uh, the game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the. Damn it. Himiko, don't give Whoops. up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial! Just shut up. I told you. I'm too tired. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gota can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little... slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow... Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. Gonta? So we don't give up, Himiko. Katie. Anyway. Performing the seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? What if someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one? Because you laid your trap there. Was trapped only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. Mm. Damn it, I missed the V agree. It's just like Gonta said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? And Kokiji, Kokiji literally knows this. He just... He was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? I guess there's no crash piece of holding the floorboard, so I kind of slept through. Ah ha ha! What bad luck! While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. What? Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room. So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms. Well, at least one. two out of three of them. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? Kimiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Live life facing forward. She also she said, said survive right? with me and everyone else, and look what that got her. If you give up on living, 
you'd be betraying her memory. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. <laughs> this trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. Uh, right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinkle. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. Finally, camper up. development. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Do not say everyone. After all, the blackened is still among us. The funny word. Yeah, by saying among us. But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. Soul, bro? Soul, bro? Okay, gay. Well, anyway, do you think the blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards... Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. Well, no one needed to go into any of those rooms besides <laughs> Angie, of course, but... Barrier magic. Well, that's one part. And now you're back to the magic bullshit. I think bullshit. it might have been something else. What? Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? Was there a spot you didn't step? Oh, on the magic circle. This is it. I get it. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plans too? If that's the case, only one person had the opportunity and the motive. This motherfucker right here. It has to be you. Kyo, was it you? Hmm, whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. Seesaw. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, Variables like Tenko's position and the placement of a cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo. Did you do it? <laughs> what is 
so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each Blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience. What? An intriguing... But if I am the culprit, as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do... How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the... How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it! The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way they could get around in the dark. Like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. Penance Gambit, no! M! A! G! I! C! R G L E I see now That's it The magic circle They used Remember, the magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used there we the salt's go. texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Mm -hmm. circle with salt to use it as a guide. <laughs> An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. What? Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Oh, it's finally this trial? Yeah, this trial's bad. Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. Uh, so which is it? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on.
Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Hmm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Magic circle, you wanted, you wanted to create a zombie army. Hey, may I have your attention? I like how it goes back to the music. Oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Neo add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. Evo X Machina. No way! Did you really... Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that... Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. Alright, so... What is this function? It's an image recording function. Please let me use it, Miss Neo. Image? Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Ready? How did you get that view of the fucking circle? I've also used magic like that before. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Please can go on. Take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? There! This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you. I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. My lie? You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. You wanna know? You don't wanna know? But that's a lie. Oh, they're about it? to say. They're about to fucking say. Oh boy. Oh, gamers. The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it is different from the document after all. Oh, because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor oh, my boy. health. Specifically, I make Kibo use that function every day to... <sighs> analyze my turds. And you're okay with this, Kilo? You're what? Why? Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality. Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Got him! Didn't you ask plus ratio. Just give up and admit it already. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can. Your deductions are fiction. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. You don't know if you hate me or Kyo more? Kyo, definitely. Alright. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cave. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carry it, so suspicion should fall on them. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? 
It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carry the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. I'll cut through your words! The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tinkle? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. And now it's time for the wasted potential of this trial. Because they set it up so that there could be a killer, a known killer in the group past this trial. But no, instead, it has to be the same killer for both victims. What you talking about, Keo? <laughs> <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko, that is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Meaningless? Meaningless? You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? He would go use fire magic to burn him. Ah, that's right! What happens to your voters if there are two black and candidates? We'll have an answer for that. It's first come, first serve. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tanko. You gotta be the one who killed An- I understand how you feel, Himiko. But maybe we can discuss this rationally and there is a non-zero possibility that Kiyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Uh, of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! <laughs> voting for me will only And then the trial the ended, when we won. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known... I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! 
Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Or it might not, and it might be a boring ass case till the end. Next to that, any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the cup. Yeah, there's sort of no other. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at. The culprit's one of you. <laughs> yeah, we know that, Monokuma. Because it's got really good music and stuff. Don't you hear it? Like, do, 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 do. you know, Kaido? What? What the fuck are you talking about? It's 1.15 already, shit. How close are we to the end of the trial? I assume we're very close, right? Wait, I wanna switch sides, no! We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! Kyo, anyone could have entered my lab. The Katara Shit. was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo, anyone could have entered my lab. We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! I got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo, anyone could have entered my lab. You know, Kyo did kill we should vote for Karakyo right now. Kokichi. Perhaps there's a second Blacken we need to find. He's planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tinko's death. Can't we just vote now? I've got this! Not yes! Yet. Please! I want to vote song. for him! Let's end the trial! Please! It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of... Tenko's... Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Kyo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tenko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. Stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. What was the point of the duct tape? It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that Tango's blood? That blood stain was too far from Tango's corpse to have been hers. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? 
the blood stain under the floorboard was dry because that's it. The blood stain wasn't from Tanko's murder. It was there before we started the seance. Before the seance? That's it! That blood stain wasn't Tanko's. It was Angie's. We're just gonna arrive to the same conclusion anyway. We're gonna still just, just gonna arrive. Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Ah, I guess that's. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. If she died somewhere else. We're just gonna then arrive we at the same conclusion. The council members in. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in the <laughs> It seems Kokichi's up to his... <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Angie left her lab on her own and went to head to the room where she was killed. Is your key to stay untrue or the art research lab is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! I Did I hit it? Okay, I hit it. Suriji so says stupid. Why did he want to make the trial on your true? He went to that room to get a candle. Yeah, for Kinky Wax Play. Thanks, Mew. Uh, no. Angie was going to use it for the ritual. According to the uh, no. to Then, did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she, she just wants to show how smart he is. <laughs> That's why there was dried blood under floor. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance with. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. You might have. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. It's neither. I just pick him. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved... Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. 
That means the culprit attacked you twice. I have evidence of that. This is it! The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma. And I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lap. True! Exclamation mark. I see! So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Ha! It's all clear! Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lap. And it was there that the... All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear? What is all clear? What is... What are you... All clear? What are... You all... You... You what? Shut up. What, what are... I will not fear. I will not back down. Sweet Correggio, calm yourself. Here we go! Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies! <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is... It's full of doubts! Of mysteries! Of a dense, impenetrable fog! Here we go! Nothing is clear at all! Angie was attacked in the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible! Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion! You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions? It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wipe them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere. What there, Shuichi? I'll cut through your words. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's... What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Don't... It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. Must have been Atua who did that for us. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who... It has to be you! It's you, Kyo. You killed Angie. All right, we did it! Yay! What the fuck? So it's true. Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. We killed both of them. Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you kill them So both? I can show off my seesaw trick. I think one of the murders was an accident. So I could show off my an seesaw accident? trick. 
that would it would have been better if that were actually the motive. If he could just show off his seesaw trick. Which one? But no, the the actual motive for the murder is even stupider. That's it. Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tango wasn't accident? That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from... T she just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. He killed Angie. There was no reason for him to kill Tinko. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is... What the so earth I can show off my about? seesaw trick. No. I'm not the culprit. So, so why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? What? Calm yourself, Karekio. Yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. You're right. Yeah. You're right. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It a lot. Seems like he's talking with someone. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? No, no he's know. just delusional. This is a trivial map. I will never acknowledge your allegations. So you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. No. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I will acknowledge fiction, mystery. You sound like a Trump supporter, I Keo. Acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Koreki. Yes, thanks. Ah, creeps me the fuck out. No evidence? There's no evidence that he killed Angie? You do realize bluffs like that won't work. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the. Yeah. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. 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 <laughs> apologize. 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 Shut up, man. Seriously, what the hell's happening? Nothing good. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correcchio. To continue this debate is pointless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correcchio. This minigame sucks. To continue this debate is Delusions on us. Your love? That's merely a delusion. Yes. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcto speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? 
You're all wrong, <laughs> not me. Correcio <laughs> speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 This minigame sucks. This minigame is awful. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yeah. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your love? That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correggio. To continue this debate is meaningless. To force your delusions on us. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 You have no proof that Correggio is the killer. It ends here! Fuck this ah! game, bro. Keo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. <laughs> I see. There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the bull. But that's not the. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. How? The weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. It means the culprit knew about the sea. Uh, uh, uh. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board. When Angie walked in. And a cold copter with a floorboard! All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Uh. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave. Shuichi, please. For Angie and Tenko's sake. I understand. I'll go over everything one more Kyo, I want you to... All right, time to move my camera. Whoop. This song, yeah.
truth of the case. Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. Okay, can we skip this? Got one from the warehouse. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this. I don't care. However, when the culprit... Angie walked into that room. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to... At that point, the culprit had not been... Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. Gives him even more minus sympathy points, right? But yes! Angie had seen it. The culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. He wanted to show a seesaw trick. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie. Culprit did not want to give up on They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Then they picked up her unconscious. I got shit I'd like to do While soon. She was unconscious. So the culprit hurried to tie up this because I'm going to continue the stream after this and play a game for class that I need to play. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit. Culprit's trick. Carrying the supplies they needed. Lock the front door from inside. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside. Why well, no? Two reasons. And it's especially because she fucking to overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. Kind of died by. Oh, and the fuck other you! Was the key to locking the room. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. And spun the effigy around. Wow! No, this isn't nice to After see. The, I don't want to see the this. Let go and headed for the rear door. That's a video of her spinning in my brain. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf. The handle of the katana then hit the slide. A difficult trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Once complete, 
The door was locked. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, the room was sealed. There was no... Then, this morning, but the culprit wasn't finished. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's Tenko volunteered to be the medium to perform the seance. The culprit a small stone that he Tenko at the culprit's request. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Next. Kokichi and I placed the culprit, then volunteered to drape. We didn't realize it at the time. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill. While they were covering the cage with a clock, they secretly placed. Finally, four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in After the preparations were complete, we be Why does his face look like in that? In <laughs> darkness, we each... When the song fit, but our culprit had another plan to come right after we started singing the culprit began making their way toward tenko it would have been quite difficult to do in total dark they used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt the culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece, then lifted up their foot and the floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck. She was killed right before our eyes. How much longer is this going to be? After committing the crime, finished the ritual and had us light the candles. We followed the cult. We do not care. I'm sorry. I want. I have things I need to do again. Fuck. We're going to be streaming for a hell of a long time today. My roommate's gonna fucking yell at me. He goes, oh, like, you stream all day. You stream 24-7, bro. <laughs> Fun fact, they actually said that. <laughs> dropped it under the floor Not those exact words, but... The room. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally dis- That evidence was the magic However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain- Why does he look like that? Why is he going like- the magic circle. Kureki Oshinguji, the ultimate ant- That's where my detective work leads us. It- 
Sweet Correggio. Uh, admit? Yeah. So you... Unfortunately. Yes. My one request I don't care. Was not being able to make 100 friends. I don't care. 100. <laughs> oh, it's so. What, what are you talking? About? I don't care. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Roger that. What? The heart racing excitement as. The heart racing excitement. As the black end and the spotless finally face off. Everyone's bullying Monodam. Voting time. Hold on, is Monodam even in the? He's not even in the thing. Poor little guy. He deserves right. Anyway, get this stupid bitch out of here. Now then, it seems. Here we fucking go! Oh boy, here we go. Oh baby. What do we got? A, not good, that was good. That's what we like to see, full fucking marks. I'm so good at dang and romba. I'm the best dang and romba gamer. Wow, you're cracked again. Amazing. This is the third crack in a row. For now, it's finally over. I haven't heard his answer yet. Why'd you kill Tenko and Angie? Oh. Hey. What is your motive? We're actually scared of that resurrection ritual, Kaito. The resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. You're not my friend. You were never my friend. I would never kill someone over a silly thing such as that. Yes. Oh my fucking god, here we go. That I love. Here we go. I, we do not care. We do not care. We do not care. We do not care. Shut the hell up, incest what? boy. Don't tell me. <laughs> Wonderful. Wait. Yeah. Curse Bloosh. Curse Bloosh. Hey. hey. <laughs> you see, sister. I'm just gonna let it proceed on auto. Right. I I don't have the energy to like even Wait. joke about this bullshit. Whatever is the matter. I I could I loved her so I could deeply. And she loved me so deeply. I could I could be, I could make any sort of joke, but it would not be as wacky as the bullshit going on right now. it forbidden love, but none could stop the love we shared. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. Shut the hell up. The Wait. only time I felt at peace Yeah, well, you're gonna be warm pretty soon. My you're gonna burn warmth. to fucking death, bitch. 
for my beloved sister. Shut up. No. Huh? Sister. However. Oh my fucking god. Huh? Do you understand? For my beloved sister. <laughs> huh? Incomprehensible. Sister. Yes. What? I am Correcchio's older sister. What? Yes. I don't care. That's I don't correct. care. I. I. Ew. If you want to see what happens, you can go watch a playthrough. I don't fucking care. Because I don't have the energy to deal with this bullshit. I fucking hate this trial. I hate this dumb, stupid ass character. Wonderful. Why then? Excellent. Wonderful. Huh? But <laughs> uh, you <laughs> Okay. I could understand why I can't understand why you didn't like her. I was planning on having no you come. Mm -hmm. You do all that just to kill. You were interested in the case child just so Let's you could see. use it to kill someone. Oh, my Are you okay? Punch him! Punch him, Kaito! You punched me! However... I ended up killing Angie a different way. Angie was a worthy fucking friend for your stupid fucking sister, even though she was a stupid fucking cult leader. What is that? Literal cult leader. Correcio. Oh dear. <laughs> Why? But how? <laughs> Do not worry. That's right. Sister. Oh my fucking god. What was that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing's making sense. Well, yeah. And another thing. All deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think news stations get so high rating when they're reporting about death? Because everyone likes unfair death. Maybe. <laughs> Man, if people were watching this, they'd get a kick out of this. Knock off the bullshit. Only sick fucks would you enjoy watching me. this. Hell yeah, if I was in the killing game, I would have so much Sister. fun watching. <laughs> Sister. Alright, bye bye Sister. Goodbye. Oh, it's a dirty it's punishment time! Sister. That's right. Therefore. From an anthro Yes. What was that? I How you I ever let that face is that I shall observe. You were never my friend! You were never my friend! Humanity is beautiful. It's Head cannon that dang and rap of V3's viewership <laughs> goes up tenfold after Correcchio fucking dies.
Is he trying to be Celeste? I'm celebrating the fact that Karakio's fucking dead. That I'm so sad that fucking Monodam's dead. Monodam, no! You. The whole resurrection, which was obviously a lie. What's the point? <laughs> um. We're all pretty terrible, actually. Oh, yeah. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> too bad. Messing around. Of course! <sighs> but. There's one thing this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but there isn't after all. Not in this mm. academy. You're right. That's we have to work together, right? Face the ultimate talent the best weapons we have. Um, Your talent uh, is fucking bugs. You're right. <laughs> okay. Oh, this card until everyone trusts my That's ultimate right. talent. It may not be possible now, but I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I won't run away anymore. I want to survive in a safe <laughs> place with everyone. Huh. Got a minute? I don't remember doing your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Makiro? This must be the powerful bond of friendship. <laughs> Actually. But. Humans are like weeds, too numerous to count. Shit. How rude! Your bleeding you know? robophobia is excusable. We're all gonna stay. I believe in you. I believe okay. in you guys. Well, of course. Hey, hey. People need to apologize for the whole student council thing, and there's only one How kind of exciting. apology. Yank off your head and smash it on the ground no with all your way. things. I mean, slitting your own stomach comes pretty close. You all right? Hey. Okay. I remember oh. how I felt. You're so dumb. Huh? God, he Mika is such because... a liar. Let's face it, you wouldn't have any free will of the but... world if I was just the truth. But even then, it's no good right. to lie yourself. Uh -uh. I only said this because, because I thought about it. Himiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings. Hey. She'll be holding back. What are you repressing? <laughs> I want to do a Fangan Instagram rampa, like thing, the things that are going on, like Penguin Rampa. Have you seen that on Instagram? That's really cool. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something like that, but I lack the art and writing skills. Is she hard to? No, she fought. She's sleeping very peacefully. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel. But wow, that really surprised me. She yeah, but she looks so peaceful. She probably felt better after letting it all out. Yeah, I hope. Then go and tell Carrie Himi. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back. You hear me? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little. What? Bites, There's no way he'd do such a thing. Go 
Kota is a gentleman after all. Why would you say that, Mew? Hmm. Okay, hey, what's wrong? Hmm, oh, nothing. I wanted to no. get some air. Huh. You worried about me? Yeah, worried about your stupidity. <laughs> so, still haven't warmed up to me, huh? Maybe the walls were coming down. Maybe the walls were enemies. She doesn't seem like to wait anymore. Uh, yeah, because okay. of me. Huh. I'm gonna go get some air. You can go okay. on ahead. Got it. Damn it! I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space. Damn it! No way am I gonna die here. No way. All right, and now we're going to do something completely different. So I'm a student in a game design class. So I'm a student in a game design class and I have to write things about different game. I have to play different games and write then write about them. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? For my interactive narrative class, I have to play different games that I normally wouldn't play and analyze them. So that is what we're going to be doing now for two-ish hours. And I know that'll piss my roommate off. I know that they won't like that, but I have to play the game anyway. So I thought might as well stream it, you know. So I'm going to stop recording and then hit re-record in a few seconds.